now quickly to our top story. Kenya Power has distanced itself from last week's tragic fire at Hillside and Arusha Academy in Kieni, Nyeri County. Speaking to the media, the power distributing company confirmed that all its electrical installations at the school were intact and there was no connection between the fire and any faults in its network. Meanwhile, preparations for post-mortem examinations are ongoing and set to take place tomorrow at Naromoru Level 4 Hospital. Here's Clement Masombo with the details. It has been five days since fire broke out at Hillside and Arusha Academy in Nyeri County, destroying a boys' dormitory that housed 164 students. <laughs> However, the cause of the fire remains unknown, even as Kenya Power denies claims that the blaze was triggered by an electrical fault. The line supplying the school is a low-voltage line from our Moiga substation. At the time when the fire incident occurred, Supply was stable on this line with no reported incidences. All the Kenya power installations, including the meter, supply cable, are thin, low voltage and high tension fuses, and the transformer were intact. The fire did not affect two prepaid meters located within the larger school complex. This was also the case for all other adjacent customers supplied by the same transformer. The power distributing company says after conducting investigations, no evidence was found linking the fire to the school's electrical connection. Based on the findings of the preliminary analysis of our protection systems from the meter box to the substation, where the medium voltage line serving the school emanates from, we have ascertained that there was no link between the cause of the fire and the fault on our network as alleged in a section of the media reports. The company will continue to work collaboratively, collaboratively with other investigating agencies to establish the cause of fire. This statement further complicates the situation, leaving many questions about the cause of the fire unanswered. On Tuesday, officers from the homicide unit, accompanied by officials from the National Construction Authority and other government agencies, camped at the school, which is still being treated as a crime scene while preparations for the resumption of classes continue. Tomorrow, post-mortem examinations will be conducted on the victims at the Narumoro Level 4 Hospital Mochari. Clement Masombo, KTA News. Well, the hillside